y'all, it's Radish. I'm here with Justin and we're at the Necklace Valley Trailhead near Stevens Pass, Washington. And we're about to head out on a three-day backpacking trip through the Alpine Lakes Wilderness on a trail called the Alpine Lakes High Route, which encircles the Bald Eagle and the Silver Eagle Peak Massif. It's mid-September and the dry weather's held out, fall foliage is coming in. So let's head out on trail and get to it. You ready, Justin? Ready. There's a bunch of old uh, mining equipment here. It's like a whole wheel and an axle. It looks like an avalanche took out this part of the trail, so it's a lot of boulder hopping. Just trying to find the next cairn. There it is. The views are starting to open up. So Kyle, what's for dinner tonight? Tonight, I'm having one of my trail favorites. It's Kraft Mac and Cheese, the unicorn shapes, with some of my uh, extra like block cheese cut up in here, some sriracha, and a lemon pepper tuna packet. Delightful. Well, it's 9 a.m. and we overslept, uh, but it never really got cold last night. It was really nice. It must have been like in the mid 50s. I was expecting it to get near freezing this time of year. So we are packed up and we are ready to head up to some Alpine lakes today. We've made it to our first lake, this is Jade Lake.
We are breaking free of the tree line into alpine territory. Now we're getting some nice views of Glacier Peak, the stratovolcano to the north. All right, now we're in Iron Cap Gap, and we have a little bit of off-trail route finding from here. So the trail tapers out right over here as we follow this ridge line up to Iron Cap Peak, and we kind of traverse the shoulder and head back down the other side to Iron Cap Lake where the trail resumes. All right, we've rounded Iron Cap Peak, and now we get to scramble down to Iron Cap Lake. It's nearing the end of day two, and every corner we turn, there's still more lakes to see. Tonight for dinner, I have a taco rice north side, and I added some of my trail cheese, a tuna packet, and some hot sauce. Well, we didn't get quite as far as we were hoping yesterday. The uh, off-trail boulder hopping took quite a while. So we woke up before the sun this morning, and we have about 12 miles to hammer out back towards the uh, Necklace Valley Trailhead. sunrise reflecting off of Kai's Peak and Glacier Peak.
our last alpine lake of this hike. From here, it is down and out the river to the trailhead. We made it down to West Fork Foss Lakes Trailhead, which is about a two mile road walk back to um, Necklace Valley Trailhead where we started, or hopefully it'll be a really quick and easy hitch. Well, unfortunately no cars pass by to uh, give us a lift to Necklace Valley Trailhead. So two and a half mile road walk later, we finally made it. So it's been three days and 35 miles of very slow going trail along the Alpine Lakes high route. And this is probably our last backpacking trip for the season. The weather is starting to turn up here. It is uh, currently raining on us now, which is a nice end to the trail. So if you haven't already, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because this means we'll be having some snow sports videos coming to you real soon. Happy trails. Mm -hmm.